My puppies are teething right now, as evidenced by Gemma chewing on my finger as we record this. And I want to talk about three teething toys that have helped the girls over the last couple of weeks. The first is the Nubby. This is by Arm & Hammer. This is really great. It's very sturdy plastic and it has the different ridges for them to be able to chew on, different textures inside of this toy. And this is really great to pop into the freezer and then give to the girls. So typically I give it to them without it being cold. But while this is cold, it is not going to like melt all over your carpet, which is really nice. So this is a really good one. Um, it is is kind of flavored. It does help with the dental chew side of things. It's really good for teething. I like this one a lot. It's kind of heavy. Um, it, it wasn't their favorite when they were younger, but now that they are 16 weeks and 11 weeks, this one is a little bit better for them. They're liking this one a little bit more. So for the young, young puppies, it's probably a little too heavy, a little too dense for them. It's a little too big for their jaws to get around, but this is good for when they get to be a couple of weeks older, they start losing their teeth. This is a great one to have. The other one that I really like is the Nylabone Pacifier. This has been fantastic. You can get this um, individually or you can get it as part of a pack, but it's got two different places for them to be chewing on. One's kind of like a little bone-like structure. One is a pacifier. And then my dogs really like chewing on the ring part of it. So this is combined together. It is not something that can come apart. And they're able to then chew on the sides or they're able to chew. Sometimes they put it directly inside of their mouth and just chew on it like that. Gemma is sitting next to me chewing on my hand right now so that she doesn't chew on the strings of my shirt. But this is one that they really liked. They really like playing with this together. So Gemma and Lucy will pick this up. They'll each take an end and then they'll pull on it. They like to carry it around like this in their mouth. This has been a really great one for them as well. So I I don't have enough good things to say about this one. The other one that we have been trying is uh, this little chew toy right here. This is from Amazon and this is very cheap but it's also a little bit cheaply made. So this is a toy that you can take off and just give you to your dogs. It's a tag toy, which I really love because my girls were chewing on all the tags for their beds, for carpets or for blankets or for whatever we had out for them to play with. They go for the tags. And so I was looking specifically for a tag toy for them. And I found this one, which is also a cooling teething stick. So this is uh, really nice, but again, it's a little bit cheaply made. So there's stuffing on the inside and then it's a very thin, material that it's made out of. So when you just hand it to them, they immediately put a hole in it with their teeth. They were like yanking on it and that was that was a hole. And so they do recommend that you soak this in water, put it in your freezer so that it's crunchy when you give it to them. Now that's nice. It's much sturdier when it's crunchy. However, it is going to melt all over your carpet. So it is gonna leave a wet spot. So you may uh, step on something wet and it kind of feels like maybe we've had a puppy accident, but it is just that it's cooling or it's melting the ice on your carpet. So this is a really good one for them for the crunchy sounds, for the crunchy texture, for helping with those teeth but it is a little bit messier and it's not quite as well made as some of the others, but it's also very cheap and it has the tag side of things so that they can pull on all of the different pieces. So it's a multi-purpose toy as well. So those are three options that we have been using for the girls while we were going through the teething stage of life. We are still there right now. As we are getting more teething toys in, I'll do more reviews on those, but those are uh, really good teething toys that we have right now for the girls as they are going through the teething stage. Lucy just lost two of her friends baby teeth. Gemma has not lost any of her sharp little shark teeth. So we are continuing our teething toy search, but this is a really good or a couple of really good options for us right now as they are going through the teething stages. Follow along for more product reviews, for more helpful tips on the teething stage of life, especially as she's over here biting me. You can kind of see we're going to uh, talk a little bit more about that and how it can be helpful to you so you can survive the terrible teething stage for all of your pups, plus daily tips and tricks on how you can level up your pet photography, behind the scenes of the life of the best-selling author's puppies, and more. So we will see you in upcoming episodes. If you've got questions, comments, things you want to see, go ahead and let us know. We are happy to build up the channel to help you as you are living your best puppy dog life.